you can see here that the domain is $0 0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $0 $
B33 club online. So you can see that B33 club online is available and this is ten dollars but you can find cheaper ones now so i was going to show you you can see this is b 3 club online dot one is two dollars and if you scroll down you can see here that b 3 online b 3 club online dot college is 1.8 dollars and if you scroll down here you can see dot skin these are extensions dot autos dot quest dot lol dot monsters these are very cheap because they are not popular extensions now if you scroll down here, you can see that this is 0.98 b 3 clubsite Let's say you search b 3 and um, you can see this is $0.98. You can see here $0.98.site, $0.98, and you can see $1.80.pix. So you need to come up with a unique name, but I'm going to try something. I'm going to try, let's try Africos dot net so you can see that the dot net here is eleven dollars but for this price dot net ten dollars just use a unique name if you use a unique name and you can see that you'll be able to get it for a reasonable price this is ten dollars uh, eleven dollars or close to twelve dollars but if you want to get it for one dollar you have to use dot site or dot rent or dot wiki or dot shop if it's a shop if you have an online store it would be a good thing to use dot shop and all that if you want to get it for one dollar or dot online you can get it for one dollar now i'm going to share another website with you the next website is hostgator now hostgator is a very powerful platform now let's search for bluewater.com you'll see that this domain name would not be available now you can see that bluewater.com is taken it's not available because it's a popular name. People do domain flipping. That's what they call domain flipping, where you buy a name, you buy a domain name that you think is going to be popular, that you think is going to be in high demand in maybe a few years' time. You buy just like real estate. You buy it and then wait until, you know, someone really needs that domain and then they reach out to you and, you know, buy the domain from you. That means you can sell it at a higher price of $1,000, $2,000, $10,000. $20,000 or even close to $100,000. Now, if you scroll down here, you can see that Hostigator is more expensive. I use Hostigator for my webs, for my, you know, for my platform, for my website, to host my website and all that. It's, Hostigator is more expensive than other platforms I've showed you. Now, if you're in Nigeria, you want to use QServers, QServers.ng. Now, this is a very cheap platform to buy domain. It's very cheap, especially if you're in Nigeria or Africa. Um, if you come here, you can see that you sell domain names for just 1,100 per year, which is very cheap. This is like one dollar, so approximately one point something dollar, or one dollar. So you can see that it's very cheap to buy domain name from this website, qservers.ng. You want to come out here? You can see their hosting is even very cheap, one five. And SSL security is also cheap, six five six dollars, which which is extremely cheap compared to other platforms. Now you want to try out these um, Q servers. I use Q servers also for my .ng domains. I use it. So you want to try it? This is not a promotional stuff, but I just have used them so I can say, okay, this is a good platform that you want to use. Now these domains that I've showed you. You can buy domain for a very cheap price. It all depends on how you structure the name of your domain. It is very important. Create a unique name. Don't use a popular word. You understand? For whatever business, even if it means adding another word to the word you intended to use. For example, if you want to use, um, for example, my one of my website, King Charles Digital. I can't even use King Charles because King Charles will not be available. You understand so i had to add digital to it to be kingcharlesdigital.com so you might need to add another word to get that domain that you want to buy so you can see that some domains are expensive and some can be cheap depending on the name and the extension that you decide to use so just go for the one that you want go for the one that's affordable and one that is close to what 
you want, which is important. You don't want to buy something that you won't end up using. So if you have questions regarding domains or if you don't understand something, just drop it in the comment section. And I'm going to leave some links in the description of this video. So check them out. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and join this family. There are a lot of helpful videos in this channel. Like this video and share it if you've seen value from this. I'll see you in this video.